Over at the Archimedes channel, they're always working on ways to help you figure out how to extract and then refine gold, whether it's in a lab, a shop, or at home. But remember, always safety first here, starting with some gold scrap hid in a crucible and poured into distilled water. From there, some hydrochloric and nitric acids are mixed and then poured over top of that gold. And watch as the chemical reaction begins. From there, boiled at 70 to 90 degrees Celsius until the gold actually melts. It then needs to be filtered. A few times more distilled water used to rinse that filter to rinse the cup to ensure all of that gold water makes its way through. From there, the gold is then precipitated with sodium sulfite added to the now filtered gold liquid, and it instantly starts to turn brown. This is a little and doesn't look so pleasant. Take a look at those fumes. Again, this is something to be done in a well-ventilated area wearing all personal protective equipment. Keep these experiments away from home if you can. Do them in designated and safe places. Check that out repeatedly, fizzing and letting off that crazy plume of yellow smoke. Eventually, you'll see some precipitate at the bottom and that in essence is gold dust. So carefully pour that water out the excess liquid, making sure not to pour out any of those dregs at the bottom. And what you can do is rinse them again to be sure a little of distilled water poured on top. Allow it to settle. Again, pouring away any excess, you can pour in some more and then boil it at 60 to 70 degrees Celsius before you slowly pour it out one more time. And again, heave that dust, the dregs, whatever you call them, in the bottom of that decur. Once that's done, you can use an electric stove, some induction heating to dry it out into the dust. You are almost there. Now that powder dropped into another heating station and it is carefully torched from a safe distance so as not to blow that dust everywhere. And look at that, it starts to heat up and turn gold, now properly refined. To get that lovely sheen, a little bit of borax is added to help it come together and have that incredible and iconic golden shimmer take a look at that incredibly hot right now allowed to cool but at least one solid piece of gold and once pulled out of that water take a look absolutely gorgeous even with a little water print on top and that is how you do it